Hello there YouTube, this is DIY Electronics, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, controlling your PS2 with the Adreno. Um, what you're going to be doing is using the PS2 hex com the hexadecimal commands and um, resending them over your Adreno through an IR LED. Um, I think this is an unexplored territory where um, it could actually be pretty cool. There's some pretty cool projects you can come up with them. Um, one thing I've used it for is, um, on a, uh, game, I wrote a, uh, script to, uh, control the game. It's an online game, um, you know, not many people play it still, but I do, so, oh well. But, um, what we're gonna start off here with is, uh, Ken Sheriff's blog. Um, he wrote a, um, library for the Adreno for sending, um, infrared remote signals. Um, uh, it it's an excellent library there's a lot of um, features in it um, um, one of the things is um, you can send um, receive signals from remotes so you can decode what they're sending and uh, repeat it um, he explains the hardware setup um, the background um, you know basically what's going on um, there's a lot of details in here and I'm going to include a link to his blog in my uh, the description but um, what you're going to need off of this page is um, the IR remote library. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're wanna, going to want to open the library. You're going to want to save it. Then you're going to want to open that. Um, you're going to have to extract it. And um, if you don't know how to install libraries, this little tutorial here, I guess, you're going to select the file you want to extract. You select the whole folder, the IR remote. In extract two, you're gonna find your um, Adreno folder. I'm gonna put it in the chip kit one there. We're gonna go down to libraries, and then you're gonna hit extract. Um, as you can see, I've already installed it there, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, that's the basics for installing it. Um, next, we're gonna look at what you get out of it. Um, in examples, you go down here to the um, IR send demo when you open it up it's going to look something like this um, what you're doing here is you got the library included so you can use the commands from it um, these this is one of the commands it sets um, pin 3 to um, the IR LED and that's what actually sends the signals um, you can get an IR LED from an old remote or go to Radio Shack and buy one I think they're like two dollars and thirty cents or something like that um, once you have the library installed and you're here, what we're going to want to grab from this code is this command right here. This is actually the send. Um, what he's doing in this code here is um, you open up your serial monitor and if you type anything and send it to your Adreno, it will send this command to turn on the TV and it'll send it twice. It'll send it once well, actually, three times, because for the zero, one, two. All right, enough about that. What you're going to do is copy this like this, and you're also going to need these right here. But basically, you can uh, just erase all of this, and um, this is what we're going to need for our project. And we're not going to need any of this. Alright, so you, you got your library installed, you got to this point, and you're, uh, you want to send a code to your um, PS2. Well, I included a uh, already decoded um, code list for all the controller buttons. Um, the only buttons that aren't on there are actually the joysticks, because, um, you know, remote doesn't come with the joysticks. Um, it does have the R3 and L3. Um, I also included the play, pause, and stop, just in case you wanted to play around with that. But, um, alright, let's go. Um, let's say you want to send the X command. You're going to copy the X command, and it's a 20-bit command, so you're going to want to paste it there. And then you're going to space and put 20. And these are the two bits of information you need for this um, function here. You need the data that you want to send 
and how big the data is. It's a 20-bit data. All of these are 20-bit codes, so if you're doing this for just the PS2, this is all you need here. This is the only thing that's going to change. Um, you need a delay of uh, 20 seconds, 20 milliseconds between each command. Actually, I'm sorry. Okay, you need a delay of 10 milliseconds between each command. Um, and you got to send each command twice. So, for instance, this would send the X button, and the PS2 would pick it up as you sent the X button once. Um, let's say after you sent the X button, you wanted to send, um, I don't know, the square button to do something. You need a delay of at least 200 milliseconds, is what I found, between the button pushes for it to uh, recognize another button push. Um, so you're going to want to copy this little function here. Copy it. Go over here. And paste it down there. Now you're going to want to say we're sending the square. So you're gonna copy that. Go over here and paste it in. And now you have um, sent the X command. And you... doubled the data so um, so that it makes sure that it received the right command um, you have to do that if I can't specify that enough or... alright then you sent the square command Oops, sorry didn't mean to do that and then you sent the square command again woohoo Double the data. Yay. Alright. So with that there, now you're going to want to add another delay of 200 milliseconds. Because we don't have anything up here. So what this is going to do, as soon as that's on, it would send this. So we want to add that delay. Um, and that's basically it. Um, you can add your other functions in there that you want to do. Um, you can add a delay up here if you want to delay it for so many seconds before, you know, like one second before it actually starts, whenever you plug it in. Um, there's, there's a bunch of cool things you can do with this. And then from there, you could, uh, you know, add the serial monitor, add a bunch of cool things. Um, this is actually the one I made for um, that game. It just got a one second delay once I plug it in, um, as soon as it finishes its setup, it sends the square command to force the game, and then it waits 23 seconds to it's in the game, then it sends the L1 command for uh, a code, and then it does all these, and then it sends the end game, and then it goes back to the lobby, and it delays 47 seconds to get back to the lobby. And basically I macroed a uh, game, and I don't have to use a turbo controller or anything else. Um, I think there's a lot of cool um, capabilities of this. Um, it just takes the right person with the right knowledge. Um, it's pretty easy to get started with it and plan around. And if you know some basics in here, uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, if there's any questions, comments, um, go ahead and post them. Um, I actually searched for a while on uh, Google and YouTube trying to find um, similar projects and couldn't find any. So uh, that's why I ended up making this, because um, I hadn't seen anybody else um, make a uh, tutorial on how to control your PS2 using IR signals. Um, I hope this helps somebody out. Um, like I said, comments, questions, I'd appreciate it if you liked the videos, and uh, give me some feedback on it. Um, I'm still working on this video making process, haven't quite got it down. But uh, appreciate the viewers, appreciate you watching, thank you.